So you've gone ahead and set your DRAM frequency to the max. You've gone ahead and save it. And now your PC is doing this, not booting up at all. Don't worry, I'll help you. So once we have our computer all opened up here, let's go ahead and locate. There's going to be two pins that are going to be labeled JBAT1. and. As you can see there, right here. And all you have to do is just take a screwdriver and just go ahead and make sure it is making contact with the two pins and just hold it there for 15 seconds, just like that. And that should be it. Now, if you want to go ahead and pick another method you want to go ahead and locate your CMOS battery but as you can see here I do have a graphics card so I am going to need to remove that so let's go ahead and do that now so the graphics card has been removed and we have now revealed our CMOS battery so what I'm going to be using is just a flat bit screwdriver here and as you can see there's just this little section here that looks like a pressure notch so all you have to do is just push this right towards you and then that should pop up the CMOS battery just like so then all you have to do is just go ahead take it by the side here and your CMOS battery should come out just like this now let's just go ahead and leave this out for five minutes and let's just put it back in afterwards Five minutes is up. Let's go ahead and reinsert this CMOS battery. So just go ahead and have the CMOS battery right here. And then I usually just go in at a slight angle from the back here first and just let that fall into place. And then all you have to do is just use the slightest bit of pressure just to push down. You should hear an audible click and that's it. Your CMOS battery is back in. Now let's go ahead and put back in the graphics card graphics card is back in the PC. Let's go ahead and put back on this panel and secure it here. And let's get all the power cables and display cables all hooked back up and let's go back into the BIOS. So as you can see right here, we got the reset and we are back in the BIOS here. Now, if we just go on over to advance, let's just check on the overclock settings. As you can see here, XMP is disabled and the DRAM frequency is back. But most importantly, you are back in the BIOS without any issues. What some people would recommend you do is that you would go one level down with regards to where you were so like say for instance if you set your if you tried setting it to 6000 and that caused a whole bunch of problems go down to 5800 but i don't recommend you doing that now as you can see here it tells you what your motherboard is and what your cpu is i would usually go and check to see what is the highest stable frequency that is supported by both your motherboard and your CPU for your memory. And I would just set it there just to be on the safe side. It sucks that you'll be able to get the full utilization in terms of frequency for your memory, but hey, it's better than a PC not booting up. But you can take your pick and hopefully this video helped.